Hi. I'm a little sick, so that's why I'm wearing this stupid hat and stuff, trying to stay warm. Um, I'm roasting samples and was having some ideas, thought I'd just sort of put them down on a video about uh, freshness and green coffee. Um, it used to be that people would say green coffee was fresh for two years. You know, we talk about past crop, which meant that a new crop had already come in. Like, so, you know, if you had a Guatemala in uh, August and it was fairly new, it came in July, June, July, uh, something like that, then it, uh, if you had the previous year at that point, that's past crop. The, the stuff that had been there a month or two, that would be new crop. Um, a lot of those things have sort of become less meaningful because we find out that green coffee doesn't last forever, even in vacuum pack and grain pro, which, which dramatically extends the life given how you store it. Um, green coffee is, is, uh, loses quality. Um, but one of the things that I'm finding, and I'll, I'm gonna chalk it up to this general thing that I think coffee has become a little bit like high school, and there's a lot of competition um, to sort of be more current with whatever the latest thinking is and in other words trendy and I think people go to extremes to try to have the, the most current opinion so the latest thing is seasonality and freshness um, that we should buy coffee out of season um, so I've seen things comparing coffee to different fruits you know you wouldn't buy a an apple that was six months old, you know, why, why wouldn't you buy a local apple, um, something picked locally, freshly harvested, obviously it's a lot different. Absolutely true for apples. Um, but some of the logic really doesn't apply to coffee. Coffee's a fruit, yeah, but it's a fruit from a, from a dry, uh, from the seed, you know, of a, a dried seed from a tree. So it's not the same. Uh, it's uh, been processed to reach a very stable form that's good for storage. And, you know, after it's in parchment, uh, with the outer skin on it at origin, it, um, it needs that time to rest and stabilize. The parchment shell provides a perfect uh, little container, its own little mini grain pro bag, to sort of equalize and to, until water activity uh, becomes sort of in equilibrium with the outside environment. So, basically, I was, uh, I'm roasting up these and, these and all these samples here, um, which are, uh, from, uh, Guatemala last week. And, um, <clears throat> on this trip, we basically went to farms, collected bags of parchment coffee straight from the warehouse, uh, had it milled in, in, in Guatemala City, and then brought, brought some of these samples home with us. Um, these coffees are about as fresh as you can get and still cup them. Hold on. And so, um, some of these, uh, we've already looked at some of these samples. They cup about a coffee that might eventually be a 88, 89 coffee. It's going to cup about 85, 84. They've got herbal flavor, grassy, chlorophyll, um, body tightness in the finish and a lot of the experience that I'm trying to get it's very difficult to obtain is how to cup a really young coffee and project how it's going to be when it's fully rested um, a lot of these samples here for example I know this this sample is from Pulcal La Carmona farm in Antigua this is about 12 days of rest um, that's after it's um, picked probably about six days on the patio, five, six days on the patio, um, mechanical drying for two days, and then from there in the warehouse 12 days. This coffee is nowhere near what it should be. So if you want really fresh coffee, you're also going to get really bad coffee. Um, coffee just needs needs rest, resting. So I just wanted to say that we can't just import analogies, even though, you know, local food, uh, slow food, uh, you know, seasonality are really great things and make a lot of sense to consumers. You can't just indiscriminately import those things from other other products and apply them to coffee without letting people know that coffee is not the same. Tell them it's a dried seed. All right, thanks.